I am always with people who are different. Right. Um, I was as thinking a white that. person, you probably have very few times in which you're in an all-black group, an all-Asian group, or all-Latino or Native uh, American group. But as a person of color, I have no choice in that. Yeah. If I want to make it in this world, I have to interact with people who differ from me. And that's part of white privilege. Um, a white privilege is your ability to decide whether you want or don't want to have interactions with, with certain groups. Right. Um, and that is what prevents us from really developing cultural competence that has meaning on an emotive and behavioral level. Uh, having it just on the cognitive level will not make you an effective uh, multicultural therapist. Multicultural or cultural competence is not an end state. Uh -huh. It is a constant, continual journey that people are, are making uh, in terms of them. I'm still learning things uh, uh -huh. from my LGBTQ um, uh, brothers and sisters that, that I really um, that amazes me sometimes. And in terms of going up and talking, they indicate to me that um, I have a distorted view of what, you know, what might be going on. Uh -huh. And I always like to say that uh, we will all commit blunders. Uh -huh. We will all commit racial, gender, sexual orientation blunders. The importance is how you recover, not how you cover up.